they provided concerts. They provided care for my brother, but that's they provided love and kindness and help and courage. I want to say because yeah, because it's hard to it's hard to just. I mean, yeah, it's just hard to, like, have your brother have cancer, and they gave me courage to fight through it. It started as a simple eye infection, not even thinking, really, that there could be anything underlying. He'd had signs, now that we look back, that something deeper was going on and we took him to the ED and within, I think, four hours of being there, we had a leukemia diagnosis. For that moment, that moment, time just stood still. It's like the world collapsed to being right there with Crystal and Tucker. And then, did I just hear that my two and a half year old son has cancer? There's no no way you could ever prepare for that. We started chemotherapy the next day. So we were on it. They were on it. We knew we had to be there for Tucker and each other. But that's probably the hardest day of my life. And one of the biggest things we did early on was talk about let's get through this day by day. That became moment to moment. Literally, it might be two seconds that you have to get through. <sighs> How you do it? It was just a couple of days after Tucker was diagnosed. I heard from Sydney's counselor, Mary Allen, about melodic caring. You know, you're you're so focused on fighting cancer, on connecting with providers, on trying to figure out how you're going to get through financially, how you're going to get through emotionally, physically, just all those things that are up front. And then Crystal tells me about the Monarch Caring Project. It was our first um, introduction to any support from programs or people that we didn't know. I remember filling out the form on my phone and it asks like about your child's favorite music. And I'm thinking, well, Tucker's two and a half. And so I like kind of jokingly put Baby Shark. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, do, do. Yeah, it was hard, so hard to believe that there was a group ready to do this and stand by these kids. And then our first concert was the Switchfoot concert in 2019. We got Tucker, two-year-old Tucker. I'd already be asleep, but Tucker, if you're still watching, yes, go Tucker. It still was kind of like hard to believe we're gonna be able to watch this show over the internet while we're sequestered, essentially. Because his immunity is so up and down, you just don't want him out in crowds. But the idea that he didn't have to miss out on moments like this, and Sydney, our his sister didn't have to miss out on moments like this. But then to also hear the shout outs during the concert, like, wow, there are people thinking of us. We're not isolated, we're not stuck in this room. And that's when I realized, talking about the moments, Lot of Caring Project is providing the good moments. We have those awful, moments that we have to get through but then there's those moments of joy and that's what gets you through it started with the live streaming of the concerts and then you guys came to visit us yeah. <laughs> and just seeing the joy and the fun and the excitement that we all had and you left like a feeling like family thank the Melodic Caring Project enough for they're kind of like a, a doorway into this bigger world of healing. And it's been amazing for our family. The zoo trip. 
that was so, so much fun just to get out and to be with people that we know care about us. And just, that was a beautiful day. And those days are few and far between when you're fighting cancer. It has allowed us, even in the worst and hardest times of this cancer treatment, to have moments of joy, to have moments of being together and feeling like we had something we could rally around and enjoy together. It's just bringing those little moments of joy that we can't provide for him. And to have somebody else just step in and be like, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do this for you because we love you and we want you to have some joy in your life and we know this is hard. It's like unsolicited joy delivered. I realized then that we had stumbled upon something beautiful. Hey Tucker, this is Amos Lee. Hope you're well today. Um, I want to send you a song because I know you're a rock star and you're awesome and you're really strong and you're special. And so I wanted to sing you this song called Sweet Pea that I wrote and send some love your way. Tucker, what up, dude? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tucker. Happy birthday to you. Tucker, if you guys are watching, hi from the zoo. Catalea, Tucker and Sydney, Nicholas, Zachary, and Sadie. If you're in the hospital and you're watching us right now, a whole bunch of people in Seattle are telling you, do not give up. We love you and keep pushing. Say, we got Tucker and Sydney watching us. Hey, Tucker and Sydney. Hey, thank you to the uh, Melodic Caring Project for being here and, and all the family and all the kids who've tuned in who can't be here this evening. And can we get one last cheer for these guys? Who's your? Yes. That was, and they put Sydney's name. There was a shift for us for Melodic when at first it was really all about Tucker and then it really became all about the whole family. No matter what we had been through that day, it was that moment to forget those hard times and just be present in that particular moment, that concert, to hear Sydney and Tucker's names read out. And especially when those crowds react, <laughs> It lets both of them know that they're not battling this by themselves. It's one thing for us parents to comfort them and tell them we're here for them. But when they hear thousands of people all at once cheering for them, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, those are moments that we're gonna remember. What Levi does, he's like, hey, do you have a minute for a phone call? Um, so in this case, do you like Jason Moran? I'm like, yes. Who doesn't? And he asked if we would be interested in a meet and greet. So it turned into like this, yeah, this like private meeting room and the other rock stars and their families and meeting Jason Raz. Can he sing? <laughs> I tried to be chill, but you're so hot. Thank you guys for choosing to come in and, and spend your time with us and listen and to share your stories as well. It's really cool. I talk in my show about the word inspire. The word inspire by definition means to breathe life into. So if someone hears your story or, or they hear a beautiful song and they go, oh, that's literally the definition of inspire is to, oh, to want to breathe that in and, and really feel it and say, what can I do now with that new breath, with that new life that I've breathed in? So thank you all for inspiring us so we can go out there and, and hopefully inspire that audience too. You know, it all, we all inspire yeah. each other. We all breathe the same air. The moments that we've had that have helped us feel tighter as a family are because of Melodic Caring Project and because of all their supporters. So we're thankful and just want to say thank you. It means the world to us that we became a part of this family and we want to open our family up to the Melodic Caring Project family because it's that important. And we want you to know how, 
how thankful we are, how amazing this journey has been with you by our sides. Oh, my God.